guys, today we're going to be doing a Rob Font UFC 4 showcase. He just got buffed, he's a 4.5 star fighter now. But here's the thing, I was trying to record this video, right? We had already gotten two fights against the same guy for some reason when I backed out to get a different opponent. But anyways, my game crashes after the second fight. And we got two good fights. So yeah, pretty much... My game just crashed, and we finally got a different opponent. Yeah, Rob Font. Four and a half star. Oh, he- Oh, I thought he was going Rob Font, too. Mirror match. Rob Font's one of my favorite people to play as in this game. Oh. Well, according to Pryoxys, Rob Font's the Pete Petrion killer, so. Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight we'll see. I just hate how my game crashed right after the fight. I was gonna do one more fight and then, but. It just sucks. All I had to do was one more fight and that would end the video, but. Nope. Game crashed. Alright, no tough blow. Try to use that jab a little bit more. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high level strike is. Oh, he's tough, man. This guy is as high level oh, as this guy is going off. Oh, huge right hand. I'm going he's off. He's hurt bad. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh. oh. Head kick. Ooh. There with a punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Bad kick. Oh. oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here, Tom. The most effective weapon in the oh. oh, chill out. Bro, you gotta chill. This is literally like the last guy. The last guy was not saving his stamina for anything. Honestly, this could be him on just another account. But I don't think so. There's no way he got. Oh, damn it. Oh! Can you get him? Oh, oh, we almost got him. Question mark? Ooh. Oh my gosh. I hate to do it, but. It's had to. He was literally doing the same thing as the guy I was talking about did. The guy that I got twice in a row when I backed out to get a different opponent, yeah. He was not saving the stamina. He was just pressuring the whole time. And look where I got him. On the floor. Put to sleep. Alright, hopefully we can back out and get a different opponent. Because I don't want to go against the same people. Especially if I already beat them. Also, rank is not Bantamweight right now. I think it's middleweight or heavyweight, I believe. But I, it's not Bantamweight, so I'm doing quick match. And... I don't know what just happened there. But yeah, Rob Pont's jab in that Cody Garvin fight. Ooh, I actually thought he was gonna get be able to knock him out. Cody, Cody was just backing up the whole time, trying to take him down. From what I believe, I'm pretty sure he was just backing up, trying to get him on the ground. Oh, we got Jose Aldo. But yeah. I don't even think Cody even landed that much shots. Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. Low four. Don't think I've ever fought this person before. Most likely not. 
bit too far. All right, so here we go. As round one gets underway, two world class levels. Rock Bob's also a pretty tall man. Well, it seems in the game. He's a, he's, I think he's Sean O'Malley's right now. Sean O'Malley's one of the tallest. Damn it. Alright, he's going for the leg kicks. I got check. Well, DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands oh, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's oh, making sure nothing lands. He's really going for those leg kicks. Nice loop and punch. I could check him preventing him from going to the Lakers. I mean, Alright, he just keeps throwing that out there. Like the Bro, let me get the chance. Thank you. Oh, he might be out. Whoa, shoot. That's scary. Huge block there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Then I check that what? Just over three minutes to go. I checked that both. Okay. Have landed for Thank Jose. you. Beautiful body kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, my, my, my left leg is low. Whoa, I'm trying. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Maybe I got against him, but I don't know. That seems like the smartest thing to do right now. Big now connects with a right. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, I should have took him down there. Nice knee to the body there by Aldo. I should have took him down there too. Big kick lands. Right, we're checking these. Aldo's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Why? I keep forgetting to go for the takedown. He's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping oh. up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Continues to mix it up. And oh, and mix it in some body shots. Tags him with the left. Is this not around? I think so. Does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some. Yeah, I got one stun. This round's definitely mine. He learned more total strikes, though. Surprising. I learned more significant. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. Yeah, that round has to be mine. I got a stun. I gotta check these light kicks. Check I don't know why. I'm like, I'm checking. Oh, Alright. Is he really gonna do that? I'm checking them, but it says it's not. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. If his light opponent kick, sees the please. target, but he can't get to the target. Right. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon God, here tonight. Leg if kick. you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission I'm accomplished. So, so scared to get to the Oh, move. finally. You start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes. You're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage not only in the legs but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Hey. Look at how he turns his hip. I could take him. I don't, I don't even think I can take him. Down. Sure doesn't seem like. Oh. Well, we got him down. So now it's time to go off. He give up? Tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relativities. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activities. Ah, you ain't doing that, boy. You ain't doing that. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a 
Got you in the corner. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, so just like we saw in round one, we're really starting to get that hook going here in round two, as Adam Sandler might say. It oh, he wasn't going for a decent. I thought he was. Because I would have been scared if I got caught. He is more than happy to continue serving him up. He's serving hook after hook after hook. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. He didn't throw too many out. Oh, no, question mark. Your leg is low now. Probably such stands too. Right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent He gave up. He gave up. Oh, he gave up. Oh, I guess I'll end you the right way. Oh, what? I threw a question mark kick to the leg. It looks like he gave up. It seems. I can stop moving really if I can just hit the question mark. I actually thought he gave up, I guess not. He's still in this. Oh, he's got it going now. Boom! Oh, that, what? The round finished? Oh, that's bad. Come on, I actually thought he gave up. I'm glad he did it, though. Oh, this is gonna be like that, I forgot. Question. Just missing on the uppercut there. Yeah. It's done. I don't end it like that. Oh, I'm not clean knockout. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, I don't think he's gotten a single stun in this fight. I don't want that. If I could throw a high kick, that'd be nice. This guy's done. Alright, if I don't get a clean knockout, I'm just gonna go to the ground and knock him off. Maybe? No? Oh shoot, oh shoot! That was scary. Bro! That chin! Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna go to the ground. He's done. I didn't fly, I didn't wait to time. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking play from the moment. We send it inside the octagon. Fruit. Let's see the stats real quick. Hold up. I really don't think he got a single stun. Nope, not a single stun. I got five stuns, four level health events, eight knockdowns, 134 total strikes landed, and 89 significant strikes. Basically, all of my strikes are significant. Not that many weren't. Alright, it's been recording for 14 15 minutes so I guess this is gonna be a last fight if I knock him out quick we'll do one more Where are you going 
Oh, he's a level 41. He's a higher level than me. Shiver me timbers. Jose Aldo too? Alright. Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. So here we go as round one gets out of the way. Two no. world-class level strikers. I don't see those other ones on the first yes, floor. Yes, they're going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has... Ooh. Oh! Body knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. I'm going to get in that takedown, boy. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, shoot. Oh, straight right. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Is that the hand? Strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, oh, fuck. Seriously? Down, oh, the point of that. I'm back up. And they both stand up. Rippling up a cut for him there. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Of course he went for a takedown there and he's gonna deny. Nice hammer fist. Pretty good elbow there from the bottom as he continues to stay active off of his back. Bro, I don't wanna do this groundwork. Alright, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of the top. Pause. Working on the ground. Right, let me go. I'm trying to do this down with boy. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh! Big shots exchanged. He's definitely the trying to take down. I haven't seen him going for a leg kick yet. Oh, shoot. That was bad. Oh, connects with the one, two. Oh, my God. Get caught. Oh shoot, that was bad. Big elbow there. Let me get up. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. No. He's attacking on bar now. Slam him. Slam him. Boom. We ain't going for that ground up no more. How about that? He's like, you go here, my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. I see that. Keep fucking long. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Yeah, you're done. Alright, we're going to record it for about 20 minutes. I don't know if I should do one of Alright, this is going to be, we're going to do one more fight. One more fight. Dang, there was only 8 seconds left. Alright, one more fight and then, well, end the video there. Hopefully we could get, like, a, like, a non-Jose Aldo or someone that isn't Cody Garvin or Petrion. Maybe a TJ Dillashaw, you know? Haven't really fought too many recently. I barely ever... By Alderman Sterling. Oh, what if we get a Corey? Corey Sanhagen. Maybe. 
Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, come on. That's fine. Coming up next, it's a UFC Bantamweight Division fight. Oh, he's beaten me before, and he's level 81. Ah. <sighs> Let's him know. Oh. Yeah, no. We ain't doing that. He's a boxer. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, it's volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's Good so shot. accurate out there. Lands the overhand right. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. They're certainly getting after it early. Yep. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's oh, he's just so good. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him. What? Oh, that's that bull. bunch of work right through the door. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. Oh, it is a money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy. That's exactly what he's doing. At the start of the Look at him. He's blocking low a lot. Kid. Able to check that kick as right, well. Somehow I touched him, but he was blocking, so. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Connects now with the one two. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using. Oh, oh Rose. He's hurt bad. Oh, big knee. Gotcha there, boy. Back. Yep, the one back. There we go. Yeah, that guy is head moving. I honestly don't know. It's up to this guy, at least. He's beaten me before. He got some revenge, you know? This and he dropped him. And then we just stuck. He was really blocking low a lot, though. I don't know why. I was, I wasn't really going low. I was going up top, like pretty much the whole time. Like I threw some leg kicks every now and then, but like nothing too crazy. Barely. I rarely ever threw a leg kick. But yeah, that's gonna end the video there. Um, we got a few fights with Rob Font. If you guys enjoy these showcases, remember to like and subscribe. And let me know who you want to see next get showcased. Alright, peace out.